Good morning, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. I hope you've had a great weekend. And uh, my first job of the day is um, to sort this out. Uh, as you can see, the pipe's crooked and, uh, and the appliance is moved. And then when you look up, up, at the, up here, you can see that all the, the sealants come away. See how much there's come away on there. See how, how bad it's come. So it's, it's really moved a lot as you go along around the side. You can show it a bit better. Look, can you see the pipe that's inside? And then you look around here and it's all fine. Um, I come across this a lot. And what it is, if I come back out again, what it is, is it's a single door wood burner. I mean, they're great, and um, I'd never slag off certain products, but um, the, the downside of having a, a single door wall uh, wood burner is that, that this, they move. And the reason why they move is because the, the doors are really heavy. So when you're, when you're like opening them, closing them, sometimes you just let them, you know, uh, open them and then they just drift off to the, to the side. And that's what eventually it moves it along. Um, and that's what happens. So like if, if, if you get this happening with your wood burner, my advice to you is just be a bit careful when you open the door. Because when you open the door, as I said, that you can imagine how much that weighs. When I was a fitter, I used to basically take everything off. The door, the bricks, everything. And it would be an empty shell because I liked working on my own. Because um, so you can't, if you can't, I found that my youngest son was my best partner doing roof work and uh, doing installations. He seems he was on my wavelength. Um, he's, he's, he, he works for a charity at the moment, so when that calms down, then he's going to come back and work with me. But you know, when I feel comfortable with him on the roofs and also uh, doing this sort of work. But the, the, the thing with this one is it... All it, the reason why it's got crooked and the bits have come down is because of the door. So if you have like a plant that's doing this, then what I'd suggest to you is like obviously straighten it up or reseal it, stuff like that. But just be careful when you're opening the door. Make sure that you're always holding the door. Don't let it swing open. Because if it swings open, it will just gradually move a couple of mil each time. And then after a while, you'll end up with it looking like this. And it looks like the, the, was it, the, the Tower of Pisa at the moment. And uh, my plan is, is I'm going to put it back into position. And then after that, uh, I'm going to reseal the joints. And then, and, then, and then hopefully that'll be the end of it. The only thing you've got to be careful of, obviously, is when you're moving it, just don't scratch the half. You know, obviously, I've got a little bit of a technique that, that I can use. And, and I will show you um, what it looks like after it's done. There you go, the pipe is straight. Look at the difference. Things like that bug the crap out of me, they really do, and I'm not surprised. And no scratches on the half, which is vital. Um, got a technique that I do them, but um, I'm keeping that to myself, because uh, it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting one. I don't drag them, because I'm worried that if you scratch the half, it's no, you know, it's no good doing one job and then creating another one. So, the, um, yeah, but look at the difference. Stand back on it. For that, sort of adjust it with the old um, wooden beam. And that's it, it's perfect. Pipe reveals all, doesn't it, really? Look at the difference of that. So now my plan is, is to seal it all up. And then the jobs are good, because I swept this chimney in November, so it doesn't need sweeping again until the following November, October, November time next year. But it is a simple, I was going to say as simple as that, but I'm not going to, because obviously uh, yeah, you have to lift them up a little bit and then move them along. Uh, and, and then that's it, and get it to the right position. And then the way you've got to sort of go, to be fair, uh, I'd strongly recommend that you have two people doing this kind of work. You don't want one person. And me, I've been doing it for so long and, and I, I can pick these up, no problem on my own uh, i've done so many of them in the past and everything but i said if you ever have to move it 
and you're worried just take out all the insides you know that that's the key to success but this one I've been able, managed to be able to move it out into a different position so um, now I'm going to seal up the joints As you can see, I've um, sealed the pipe. Often moving it. And then basically, well, I'm, I'm up here. That's all done. As you can see, we're out there. make sure you go right the way around when you do these, because uh, the customer will check, and it's not worth not doing all the way around. And as you can see with the with the uh, fire cement, I haven't put too much in. Because uh, like on my previous videos, if you put too much in, it will crack and drop off. So, but that's all sealed all the way around. That's sealed all the way around. I'm just going to give a, a quick wipe on the top and then, and then spray it. Reseal the, the bottom bit. Reseal the top. With, uh, yes, you can get black, black fire cement, but they don't seem to buy. Uh, I can't seem to get hold of them in big tubs of them. When I need them, so uh, yeah, I've just sprayed the, the cement that I've just put up there. But as you can see, as I said, make sure you go all the way around the pipe, and then and then we'll stand back. I'm gonna have a Hoover up and a tidy up in a minute, and then we're done. See, and look at the difference with the um, the fireplace now. It's all straight, apart from the piece of paper. I'm gonna remove that in a minute, but hope this helps. Uh, if you remember, if your stove looks like it's moving. That is the reason. If you've got a single door on your, on your wood burner, it, it's prone to move. So just be careful when you open them and uh, uh, you know, putting logs in and stuff like that. Hope you have a fantastic day from Zachary Sweeps and bye for now.